This week we're finishing our journey in 18th century Outlander inspired clothing making using the 8161 simplicity pattern. We're making the bodice and revealing it in the woods. And on the journey of modeling this bodice in the woods, I realized my previously unknown desire to be mistaken for the ghost of an old tiny lady. Over the past couple weeks I've been putting this outfit together. I'll link a playlist above that shows the making of the shift, the petticoat, the stomacher, the pockets. Next, we'll get into the construction of the bodice, give you a peek into some of the highlights from the 30th birthday camping adventure, and the grand reveal of the outfit. If you've watched in the past, I hope you're still enjoying the journey. If you haven't, and you're into cats, historical-ish sewing, bed sheets, and DIY, go ahead and subscribe, because there's more things coming your way. And the next one is going to be particularly rough. Alright, let's get into it. I've cut out all the pattern pieces. Now I'm going to transfer the markings onto the fabric. And you have to be on the project always. Sir, excuse me. Thank you. That smuggle face. Here's the basic construction, starting with the back pieces and the side back pieces, the front pieces, and the sleeves. It's beautiful. Not as beautiful as that though. I pinned everything together. Here are the sleeves. I didn't pin it all the way. I need to pin this, that gets sewn. This is left open. This is sewn. So there's two pleats at the top of the arm. This section down here, I still need to pin. That's gonna get sewn closed. But here is the completely pinned together bodice. And there's two strips of boning that are gonna be inserted here. So I need to make sure that I left enough room when this is pressed open to encase the boning. And same thing here in the front. It's a very Paint line, I don't know if you can see, but it runs along here. And there's gonna be boning here and then eyelets along the front for the front closure. It's very, a lot of curves, it's really pretty. Hopefully it won't be incredibly hard to sew. We'll see. There's something really entrancing in this level of detail in scenes. You don't get that from fast fashion. Yeah, there's some question as to whether or not this fits. I've got the arm pinned in, I just stabbed myself. And this neck ruffle really wants to get in the way of the bodice, but I think on the whole it fits not bad for a first attempt. We'll sew it all and I think once this is hemmed a little bit and once this is hemmed a little bit and maybe this is arranged and when all the everything's done it might fit a bit better, but eh, it's wearable. It's great without the shift. It's a bed sheet so everything I make is a mock-up. Okay, so I finished the construction of the arm, the sleeve. So you sew down the front and then you kind of, starting at the dot, sew towards the edge in a little bit of a curve. Then you fold it over and press it down this way. And then you open it and press it flat and then kind of fold and do a quick press to get the elbow as it should be. There's three pleats up here at the top of the sleeve and this sleeve will get set into the bodice. I'm doing the flipping method with the lining and the outside so I think they go wrong sides together, right sides together. I need to read the instructions more. And then you flip it all out. I need to stitch two channels 
down here and insert boning. And then in the front, once it's sewn to the lining, stitch along here, bone it, and then eyelets are gonna go in here for the front. So I had to give up on sewing this thing last night. For some reason, when I was doing the second one, I could not figure out how to set the sleeve. This one went in fine. This one, I couldn't match any of the marks up. So I realized I must have done it inside out. So I seam ripped it, sewed it back together, put it in, still didn't work. So I seam ripped it again, still didn't work. So I did it four times. I really need some tea because I just woke up and I, I can't deal with sleeves right now before I've had some tea. Help me. I'm about to do the first attempt of sewing the lining to the outside layer. They're both the same fabric, so if I royally mess it up, the one I intended to be the lining can be the outer layer and vice versa. For this attempt, what I've done is put them right sides together, slipped the arms through. It's definitely one of those things where you kind of stand there like... My spatial reasoning isn't the best, so it's difficult to calculate where everything goes. It'll all work. I'm not gonna sew the edges of the sleeves because I know that's where things can go really wrong. Then I'll sew along the outside and hopefully be able to flip it right sides out and double check the fit. I guess it's a good thing I didn't sew the sleeves together. That looks monstrous. It's like a little octopus. That's truly horrifying. It flipped right side round, it looks not incorrect. Not sewing up the sleeves was a very good idea, because otherwise it would not have flipped inside out. So now we gotta bone this, bone this, do eyelet holes, finish this, and finish this, and clean this up. Boning's in the back. Bonings in the front, and now I'm going to stitch up the bottom, leaving a gap here to turn it, and then do all of this. Ouch. Okay, I'm getting ready to put in the eyelets. This side I have pinned where the pattern says to put the eyelets and I want to do spiral lacing so I place the first pin on the other side at the top and then put it in between every other pin. I don't know if they're supposed to match up at the bottom too, I need to go back and look at it, but I'll start on the side that I know is correct. I'm going to try and wiggle it around, move the threads without breaking them. It's a start. Start of an eyelet hole. I put in the spiral bound lacing eyelets. So there's seven on this side, eight on this side. You start and end over here. So you tie a knot here, lace it through directly across. Then it goes back and forth on a little diagonal and then that goes through there. And the final lacing and knot end up on this back side. Sir, sir, I was telling the good people of YouTube about this jacket, so I need you to get off it, please. Good old 
scrub a dub dub with my handy dandy brush. I didn't just make this. This feels really stupid. <laughs> she clean. Yes, I did sleep in my shift. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. I'm older, wiser, and much more equipped to haunt the forest. Yes, I am the ghost of a lady from the 1800s. Ignore the car. Go ahead and subscribe, because there's more things coming your way. And I'll see you all again soon. To flannel or not to flannel? That is the question. It's a bedsheet, so everything I make is a mock-up.